Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and welcome to day one of the 10 day wire bracelet making challenge. Today we're gonna to make some wrapped wire bangles uh, with optional fabric. And these are inspired by these very first jewelry design attempts I made when I first moved to Montreal in 1989. This is actually a bangle that's wrapped in leather. I was just using scraps of fabric and leather to make jewelry. This is before I started in the wire. This one is also with very thin wire and leather and then added beads. And these were actually earrings with uh, wrapped in hand painted silk. So you definitely have options for this project. If you have a wire bangle, this is a retro one, probably from the 80s. If you have one, great. If not, no worries, you can make one with wire. So I have a variety of gauges. I have 16, 18, 20, and 24. I have my tools. I have some stones that I'm going to use, or you can use beads. If you do want to wrap with fabric, I just cut about an inch strip of fabric. You can use leather, you can use hand painted fabric, you can use whatever you'd like. And also I did print out this template with a sizing chart, so I'll make that uh, downloadable. I'll put it in the Discord and also in the community section if you'd like to download that for a reference for sizes. So if you don't have a bangle, you can use this size chart and make your own. This is about a medium size. So what you can do is take some stronger wire. The copper is not super strong, so I'm going to use a thicker gauge. This is 16 gauge. And I'm just going to wind it around a round form. So whatever you think is about the right size, like if you have a cup that's about the right size, you can use that too. And then you want to just kind of measure it here and you can also check it to make sure it's going to go over your wrist you might have to make it a little bit bigger if you're wrapping it with uh, wire and stuff so the best thing you're going to do now is you want to make it really secure so you can just take this like this and hold it in the place that you want it to be secured in place and then bring these wires around so what you're going to do first is just I think with this thick, thick wire, it's gonna be easier to do it this way. So we're just gonna go around here and then double check sort of this size and then bend this the other way. So we're gonna bend this kind of down that way on a bit of an angle. And yeah, you wanna use a stiff wire for this so it's gonna hold its shape. And then now you're just going to close the circle and you can keep checking it with your template to make sure it stays about the same size. And the idea is you're just gonna clip that and then push that flush. And then this one here, you're going to just, let's just double check it. If it got a little bit small, you can loosen it up if you need to and just play around with it so it's gonna be the right size. And then hold this and close it. This wire is quite stiff, so it's just the, the base wire. If you have a bangle, go for it. You can use that. And then that's just sort of your basic shape. And then you can make sure you round it out again. Okay, so then you can just wiggle that around if you need to. And then you're going to get your wrapping of fabric. And also you can get ready some wire. So I'll just use a thin wire for this. Let me move the template out of the way and we'll just take this, cut a decent, you know, long size piece. You can always, you know, cut it too long. In the worst case, you can add some wire to it after. So we're going to put that one there. And then what I remember doing, I haven't made these one of these for a long time, is we're just going to take it in here and start to wrap it. So we might, it might be too long, but we're just gonna take this and then wrap it around. This is actually a really cool idea for earrings too. You can use the same idea for earrings. And then if you do it with leather, you don't have to worry about the rough ends, but this just looks a little bit artsy when the ends are a little, a little rough, it's totally fine. And then if you find this end is going to start undoing, go ahead 
and take your wire here and just wrap it around a little bit. So that's gonna hold it in place. And then you can keep going with your winding it around and around. And the nice thing about this fabric is it's actually a, a quilting fabric. So it's kind of painted like right through. There's no right side, no wrong side. So you're gonna see, even if it flips over, you're gonna see the color all the way through. And I'm just letting this kind of flip around and stuff. So I'm not being too fussy about it being perfect. I don't mind if there's some rough ends and if there's it kind of back folds a little bit, it's not a problem at all. The idea is you just wanna make sure you have enough to go all over the bangle. This fabric is gorgeous. You can get this in a quilting store. I'm sure you can buy it on Amazon. Um, any fine fabric store might have uh, the quilting. It's like a quilting fabric. I think I got it at a quilting festival, uh, like a conference type of thing. So that was really cool. So now, once you have it to here, then you wanna make sure it goes around, especially around that little knobby end. You wanna make sure you go around there you can even like pull this back if you want but for now we're just going to cut it i forgot my scissors so i'm just going to cut it with my my wire cutters and just give it a little tear that's the fun thing about this uh, fabric you can cut it on the grain and it just uh, will tear so like say you need to pull this back the original starting point to overlap it you can do that you know that's not a problem at all so we're just going to take that and then overlap the end here and like I said it doesn't really doesn't have to be perfect it's fine so we're just going to go around here wrap it around that end and then you can uh, it's optional if you want to put a lot of beads or not that's totally up to you to cut that end so now we want to go around the whole thing and you could a couple of ways you can do it you can go around the whole thing and add beads as you go or you can just go around it and uh, and not add beads so this is you know just like this I kind of like it just like this I don't think it's necessary to add beads but in the second version you'll see we're going to add beads so once you get to the end especially if you're using thin wire this is 24 gauge you'll probably want to twist these ends together so just take them and then just give them like a little twist a few times and then we're going to cut the ends here you can tighten up that twist if you want and then just kind of bend it in and stick it into the fabric so it's not going to be sharp and there you have your bangle just with the fabric this one I'm going to do with the 18 gauge wire so you have a couple options if you don't have the 16 gauge wire and so basically what we're going to do is just wind it around a couple of times so we'll just go around like that and then you'll want to compare it with your chart so then we're going to just like let it open up a little bit more so we'll just do that and I'm just doing medium size but you can definitely do it longer if you need and I'm doubling up the wire so it's stronger if you feel like you need it to triple it up you can totally do that too and so what I'm going to do here is just wind this around so easiest way hold this with the flat pliers and don't worry too much about if it gets a little bit scratched because you will be covering it up with other wire now here uh, you have options too if you want to cut this wire longer and wind it around the whole thing you can but if you haven't cut it uh, long enough it's not a big deal so we're just going to go like this just to have a good solid starting point for that and we'll cut the ends like this and you want always your ends to be pushed in flush so that they're not going to be catching on anything and they're not going to be like pokey or anything so now you can just kind of uh, adjust it how you want if you don't do want the oval shape just go ahead and form it more into an oval shape but if you round, want round round is good too so now to make it fancy i'm going to add some stones you can add any kind of beads you want 
and if you want to use the fine wire you can 24 is a little skinny for this so you might want to go with 22 or 20 gauge so i'm going to use this 20 gauge that i have here and this is just a craft wire from michael's a lot of my samples i use the craft wire and so if you uh, want to use you know copper or silver or whatever wire you want it's fine and so as for the length it really depends on how many times you wind it around the piece and so what I'm going to do is so I'll be sure not to actually run out of wire so I'll just pull it through like this and I'll leave this here so I'll know how much I'm going to need so I'll have a little extra there and then basically all you want to do is hold this let's move these ones over and make sure first also that the wire is going to fit through your stones especially some of the stones have very small holes and then we're just going to wind it around so bring it in and in so I would wind it around at least once between your stones just to make sure it's super solid and then you can take your stone and stick it on these are the same stones I used to make the tree in the let's get wired session on Saturday that was really fun too so then just go around maybe just wind it once between each stone whatever you you know feel is aesthetically pleasing to you and you can mix up your stones like here I have the hematite that I really love the hematite stone it's a beautiful stone and so we'll get that one on here and put it around and around and basically you're going to just keep going around the bracelet until you've filled it all around and you know try to be somewhat consistent like just do one little wind between each stone and be careful not to snap your stones either don't put too much pressure on them and make sure the holes of the stones aren't too close to the edge so once you've come to the end you just need to finish these wires off so just go around a full time this one to go around a full time and then you can just clip the ends so make sure you clip the ends in a way that you'll be able to push them in flush so we're just going to cut that one here and this one in here and then you can take your flat pliers and just make sure that they're in their flush and they're not going to scratch and then you can kind of push these ends together a little bit and there you have your super cute little bangle with the stones so thanks so much for watching the video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more diy wire art and jewelry making videos hit the notification bell to be notified when i go live and when i post new videos and if you'd like to share photos of your wire work, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. And if the challenge is already over, no problem. You can still hop over to Facebook and join the community. Or you, if you don't have Facebook, you can hop into the Discord community there as well. And also, if you'd like to check out my wire art and jewelry on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. And I also have a mailing list, so I'll link that up below. And if you sign up for the mailing list, I'll send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching. If you're participating in the challenge, good luck, have fun with it, and we'll see you the next time.